Hey, Whitney, thanks for uh, meeting me at the health club today and letting me record your swim stroke. It was very helpful for me to actually see you live. And what I noticed and what we talked about mainly was you didn't have much power behind your pull and your head position was really high, especially when you were breathing to the right-hand side as frequently as you were. That kind of created your head position to always remain high. So... Um, that's just the big the big thing about breathing is I would like you to either breathe every fourth stroke or try to take more left side breathing because that'll just help balance out um, your body position in the water and your head position in the water. So besides balance, um, the next thing I was looking at was your recovery, what's going on when your arm comes out of the water. That wasn't too bad. Um, I'm still going to have you do some thumb slide drills to get your arm a little bit closer to your body as it recovers. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about is that underwater pull. You didn't have any power. Your arm was coming out before your hip. And you were taking about 25 strokes per length. One length you took 28 strokes. And we, we stopped. We talked about it. And all I had you do in the second video is keep your head down, swim over that blue line, most people have a black line, and watch your arms pull, and I had you scrape your thigh. When you did that, as you can see from the next video, you start taking 23 strokes per length. And a 25 meter pool, that's exactly where you wanna be. And to lower your stroke count by two, just by um, extending your arm, push, past your hip, scraping your thigh, that's a big deal to cut out two strokes already per length. So uh, that's what I'm going to have you focus on with some stroke drills, such as the catch-up stroke drill and the underwater doggy paddle stroke drill that really just focuses on the underwater catch and pull. And then just a few hand entry drills, um, recovery drills that are minor, but that'll actually help set you up for a stronger catch and pull, like the fist drill and the head out of the water drill. So again, not only did you lower your stroke count by two, but um, your head position was a lot lower and that actually brought your legs up a little bit to the surface of the water. So keep practicing and I can't wait to see the next video that you do and see your improvement. Make it a great day.